everybody welcome back to my channel it is hot in here I mean super hot my hair is already starting to wave I don't even know why I bother flat ironing flat ironing it because the, the heat is just like <sighs> anyway I digress so today I am gonna be doing a boxycharm unboxing and today's the deciding day for me with boxycharm and I have to say, they may have redeemed themselves. Now, normally I would have opened the box on camera so that I'm just as surprised as everybody else, but I'd like you to see how my box came yesterday. So I don't know if you could tell, but it looks like somebody jammed their hand in my box and ripped it open. I can't, for the life of me, figure out how this could have happened in transport. It's never happened in the more than a year I've been I think I, this is my year and month this might be the one year one month anniversary I think of me getting boxy charm and never ever ever has a box come damaged ever never ever maybe a little scuffed nothing ever broken but this is outrageous like I was so furious yesterday I I took photographs of it before I even broke the seal just out of a fear fear that someone may have stolen something because I mean my god you can literally stick your whole hand in the, in the way they broke that open. So I took photographs just to make sure. And then I oh, broke it, you know, broke the seal and I took out the card and I did an inventory. So I didn't get to get my surprise. Well, I kind of guess I get, did, but I can't do it on camera. Um, but everything is here accounted for and it doesn't look like anything was tampered with. So there's that. Anyway, so this month I said if BoxyCharm didn't do better then I was going to cancel my subscription. And I actually started doing some research, and bear with me, because I am shitting. It is so hot and nasty, and I have, like, a little friend. Hi, little friend. Um, wearing a mask all the time is wreaking havoc on this part of my face, and I am cleansing, and I even have, like, these uh, cleansing little wipes that I leave in the car for, like, wiping down this area when I get in the car after shopping and it's just not helping and I'm getting like all these little bumps and gross little friends and sorry she's there I can't do anything about it but this month I wanted to do the boxy charm unboxing and I would very much like anybody who is subscribing to boxy charm to comment down below and let me know if you got something different because I'm kind of not understanding every time I see an unboxing and they have the same one I have, they're not getting the same item. So I thought everybody got the same stuff, and I know they have the three tiers, but when I see people opening the same sub subscription box I have, they often have different items. But let's begin. So today, the first item in the BoxyCharm box for the month of August is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now, I don't remember. This may have been one of the things you get to choose in advance. I'm not sure. Um, I got this in the color golden beige. I don't know if this is going to be good for me. Let's open this up and see. Ooh, this is big for a concealer. This kind of looks like a small foundation. Um, okay, it says conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. Let's see what it looks like. This is a nice component though. I, I will say that. That's kind of a little fancy. I like that. I heard good things about the foundation. I haven't tried it though, but let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, that's huge. That's a huge dofa. That is really, really big. I don't know if this is gonna be good for me. I have a foundation, so we will see. Let me pop some of that in there. Let's see, I don't like to put a lot of the stuff on because if it's cakey, then ooh, a little bit on the nose there. Let's see, nice dofa, it's huge. I'm not used to using um, anything with a dough for that big. I guess it's close to like the shape tape. Um, I guess they're trying to copy shape tape. So let's blend that out really quickly. Um, I don't know if it, it's the right color for me, but I'm not really good at that anyway. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me look at that closer in a mirror. Okay, I don't, I don't hate that. It is actually, um, looks very moisturizing. I'm a little swollen. I put on like eye cream 
and my dog like attacked me before. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. So I'm like feeling really gross right now. I'm not feeling my best. But let me just blend that out. I don't want that like creasing underneath. But I actually think this is a good, um, looks like it's a good formula. So I will say yes to that. So first product I'm happy with. Shockingly, I'm going to pause for a second so I can get a uh, finishing powder on my face. I'm not a finishing powder. I'm just going to set my face really quick uh, and I'll be back. So I went ahead and primed my eyelids and I used the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion, the anti-aging one because, yeah. So let's see now, Essentials 2. Okay, let's try it. I mean, that's what we're here for. I'm not thrilled with, I mean, this is not something I would really reach for. I don't think, anyway. So I am going to use the color clay as a transition color. And because I have hooded eyes, I bring that above my um, crease, not in the crease, I bring it above. Bring that on. Okay, it's darker than I thought it would be. It's okay though. I don't really like putting shadow on uh, tacky eye base. I don't. I personally don't like to, but because I'm trying to be dewy today, I don't want to make my eyes like super opaque and dry and set them in pop it, it just looks really it does look really dry so I'm going to just get that on there it's nice there's some definite definite pigment kick back in the in the tray there I don't know why I'm holding this mirror because it has a mirror and let's uh, uh let's peel that off and now it sticks to me because of static electricity so let's get that on the other side as well it's a pretty color. The color clay. Not bad. Bring that above my crease. Okay. A bit more of that. Ooh, clouds of eyeshadow flying everywhere. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. Okay. It's there for sure. Okay. So, I am not going to do anything overly complicated. It is really, really hot in here. And honestly, it's just really uncomfortable. I still haven't found an air conditioner, by the way. And honestly, I know everybody always is apologizing for the sound of the fan in the background. Listen, we're human beings. I need the fan. It's really hot. It's brutal. It's really just uncomfortable. And that's because the temperature drops, so I, I don't even get it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of the color chocolate brown in the corner to, to, to deepen it out a little bit. Same brush. I'm not going to do anything overly complicated. This one I will drag into my crease. Push it into the crease as I blend it out. Um, I don't know. It seems like it's really like getting a little patchy. It's like sticking in one area really like a lot more than I wanted it to but we will make it work by continuing to just buff that in keep buttoning it in blend 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 just to deepen it give it some dimension okay see that okay do the same thing on the other side Just a little bit of a little bit of dimension. Just a little bit. I don't want it to look too flat. Okay. I have to tell you, I really think I'm gonna be one of those people that gets an eye lift. <laughs> I just honestly I think of all the things that happen to the body when you age. This is probably my least favorite, getting the skin so loose. Oh, I've got pigment on there. But getting the skin so loose on your eyelids, it's just, it's not fun. 
it really is a reminder that your body is changing and it's like a reminder that's right in your face it's life's not fair you know what though it's just wrinkly eyelids and there's people going through a lot worse in, in life so I shouldn't be so ridiculous okay so I think I made it like really muddy that's okay I don't really care um, I want to see how this color should I go with wild orchid or blue violet I mean they're kind of the same as far as the shifts but I think I'm just gonna go for the wild orchid because I really really like it a lot it's a really a pretty color and I'm just gonna kind of bring it I'm gonna use my finger and just see how that plays out and if not good then I'll if it's not good I'll use a wet brush but in the meantime let's use the finger and get that in there Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That is pretty. That is pretty. I like that. Let's put some more of that on. I really like this. It really does remind me of that nail polish, Jam and Jelly. This stupid plastic is going to be like the bane of my existence now. Okay. Okay, got rid of it. It's gone. Uh, wow, I really love this. This is pretty. This is really pretty. I am in love with this color. Okay, Violet Boss. I see you now. Let's get some on the other side. This is a lovely color. I am so happy with this color. The whole palette could burn up in flames as far as I am concerned, but this color just really saves it it's so beautiful i love it this is lovely i would wear this color just by itself i swear to god it's so it's so pretty it really is so pretty it is electric i love it look at that color it's so pretty oh my goodness i really like that a lot and you know what i think i'm gonna put a little blue let's just pop a little blue in. i mean why not it's got blue in the shift. Oof, it's a lot of kickback. Oh, Lord. Um, but let's just put a little blue and see how that plays with it. I'm sure nicely because the blue has a shift. I mean, the wild orchid has a blue shift in it. So let's see how they go together. Ooh, I made a big mess there. Not so great. Not so great. That may not have been a good idea, but we got to do the same thing to the other side because we want to have continuity. So let's just get that on there. That's the color blue sky. It is not as pretty as I thought it was going to be with this. Hmm. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the color aqua, which probably doesn't go with this at all because we're playing with the palette and we're literally playing. So don't come for me. We're playing around... I mean, usually when you do makeup, you know your colors and what you want to do. I had no idea what colors were in this palette. So I'm going to put this next to Wild Orchid. Let's see how it looks. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, I made a big mess. Oh, that is pretty though. That is pretty. I got to clean up. That is a big mess I just made there. So the color Aqua is really pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay. 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 Let's just tap that in the middle. But they kind of don't have such a harsh, ugly line like that. Bring the two together. Sort of. Yikes. I made a mess. Let's see. Sweep this stuff away. Oh, God. I made a big, big mess there. How do I clean that up without making a massive, big, 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 big mess? Lord. All right, let me get rid of that as best I can. And I am going to use um, the color beige just to kind of soften the upper area. I don't like the way that looks. Just to soften it and use it also as a technique to clean up mess that I made there. I 
actually hate this brush. I don't know why I'm using it. I just grabbed it because, as I stated, it's really hot and uncomfortable in this room. But I am going to add, I can't help it, I'm going to add more wild orchid because it's so pretty. I'm going to pop that on again because I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It really is a beautiful color. So beautiful. I'm going to end up using this a lot. I really like this color so much. It is really lovely. Look at that. Okay. 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 Um, I am going to see what else do we have here. Okay. So the next thing that's in the box is a uh, Clarence product, which I don't think I've ever gotten any Clarence product. Mm, no, no, I don't think I have from BoxyCharm. And this is Clarence Paris. This is the Velvet Lip Perfector. And this is in the color 04 Velvet Raspberry. Is that gonna match? I don't I don't think so, but let's let's check it out. So that's what it looks like. Let's see there. Clarence. And let's see. Okay, it's a twist off, not a pop off, so remember that. Oh, I hate these things that you gotta squeeze up. I always overdo it, but at least it came up right away. So you see that. Let's see what this looks like on the lips. Let's see. Okay. It's velvety. I like that. No. Oh. It is a velvet lip perfector. Mm -hmm. I had to get the dog to be quiet because he wouldn't stop. Um, so the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer $29, I mean, that's a little pricey for a concealer, considering you could get $5 concealers. But, you know, I guess the saying you get what you pay for, it really is true because I don't know if I'd want to pay $29 for that, but I really do like it. So maybe I would, and especially if it works, I'm sure that I could get it to work and uh, work a little bit better for me. I'm just really uncomfortable right now. Doing uh, makeup on camera in the heat is just not fun. And... You know, when you're doing your makeup for yourself and not for a camera, you take your time, you can have the fan on, you're cool, you're looking at things and you can see, um, maybe I need a little bit more coverage. But honestly, I do like this. I do like it. I They might get $20, $29 out of me, but Too Faced has a lot of sales on their website. Uh, so maybe I'll wait for a sale. And that color, uh, I'm okay, BoxyCharm. Golden beige. I'm terrible at picking uh, foundation and terrible at picking uh, concealer. And okay, practice makes perfect. Apparently, uh, the Violet Voss Essentials Two Palette is thirty six dollars. Now that I would not buy, but I do really, really, really love this color, Wild Orchid. And if I could get that by itself. Oof, my nail just went into the other one. Gross. You see that nice little gouge I just made there? This color is giving me life. I just love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It really is so pretty. I am feeling so disgusting right now getting this. Look at that. Ugh, so gross. So careless. Like wasting product like that. It's just such a shame. But ooh, it feels so nasty underneath my nails. I gotta get that out. So I don't know um, that Violet Voss does singles. I don't think that they do. I mean, I would have to look. I'm not like um, an expert on makeup. And I, I certainly would not pretend to know all the products and everything that they sell. But the, the things that I've seen for Violet Voss have been palettes. So I'm going to check after this video for just for myself to see do they do singles because this color is giving me life and I just love it so much. It's so pretty and I, I'm i gonna be using this again. And if I could buy it in a single, I would. It reminds me so much of that nail polish. I, I can't even stop saying it. I love that nail polish so much. Me and my Aunt Madeline used to get that nail polish. Jam and Jelly, so beautiful. Um, the next one is the Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. What? Okay, $26. There's just no way. There's just no way. I hate these applicators. I don't like them. Um, and again, for this effect that I got, I could easily use this. I mean, I think I have 
probably a very similar color. Um, I'm certain that I have a similar color in the blur and I could get the same exact effect with this lipstick because it's a blur. I'm certain I could get this. Maybe I mix it with another one, but this is the blur, um, color pop, bl uh, velvet blurs. And these, I think it's velvet blur. I think that's what they call it. Um, this is in the cover all T color all T and I would much rather buy, much rather buy ColourPop than give Clarence $26. There's no way. Now, Clarence, I love you. You have great products. I used to buy that dual serum thingy. Um, it's expensive, but it was really good, and I used it for a while. I probably need to go back to wearing it, honestly. But um, skincare, perfection. But this, no ma'am, $26. So that's not something I would be buying. I mean, it's nice and it feels moisturizing. It's not drying down. It's like kind of moussey, not creamy. I don't mind it, but I wouldn't give you $26 for that. No, no, no. So this mine, mine tan, minute tan, is that what it is? Is it, am I not reading correctly? So on the bottle, it looks like mine, yes? But on the card, it says Mind Tan Body Skin. I don't know. Yeah, I guess they didn't separate it. Mind Tan Body Skin Hydro Glow Sleep Serum, $44.95. Okay. It's uh, two fluid ounces for a serum. Okay, I'll take that. Serums can be very expensive. Uh, the one that I used to buy from Clarence, I'm pretty sure it was like, I want to say $95. But it's been a while since I bought it, but it was really good. It's really good. I mean, when you find something that works for you, you just got to stick with it. I don't really like to try a lot of different skincare products because then you start getting weird breakouts when, you're, when your body's like, mm -mm, not for me. No, no thanks. Uh, but okay, $44.95. I'll take that, especially if it's good. I'll let you guys know when I do a skincare uh, video. I'll put that in the list. And lastly, the Real Her Definer Brow Pencil, $16.00. Okay. I mean, it's not great. I don't know if I would give it $16 for this. It's very thin too. Um, I think I'd rather invest in, in like benefit brow products. That's their thing, right? Or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Isn't that what they're famous for? Well, what they were initially famous for. Um, $16. I feel like you gotta, you know, Go with what works better. Um, sometimes it's not about the money. I'd rather pay a little bit more for a product that I know is going to be fantastic. Um, I have yet to find a product that works really well for me. So you can comment below that you, something that's like idiot proof. Like I don't have a steady hand. I don't. I don't have a steady hand. So when I start to draw things, the hand gets a little shaky. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really not good at And then I can be heavy-handed. So one could be darker than the other. And then I, I feel like I've, I'm overdoing it. So I don't really like to do my brows. I definitely would don't like to do them on camera. And like you can even see now. And then I have a scar in this one. Um, whenever I get them waxed, they always try to even them out. I'm like, don't do that. I'm going to end up with like half a brow. I'm not Alice Lockhart. I don't know how to draw in a, a whole brow. I, I don't have that kind of talent to do that. Um, but yeah, so I think, uh, what the hell was the theme this month? BoxyCharm Spa, Spa Glamping Sunbathe Yoga Slumber. What? Okay, how, how is this any of the spa? Because this is a serum. What, what am I using for glamping? This, this, this themes are weird. I don't, I don't know. But I will say that, okay, this month was okay, BoxyCharm. Okay, so I won't I won't cancel this month, but I warn you, I warn you that I have been doing research on other subscription boxes. So if anything happens like what happened in July coming down the line, I may have to cancel because there's but so many disappointments any woman would put up with in her life. So having said that, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you soon.